the difference between CP and CV of ethanol. For an ideal gas, CV and CP are different because of the work W associated with the volume change for a constant pressure process. To explore the difference between CV and CP for a liquid or a solid, consider the process in which 5 moles of ethanol is warmed from 10 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius while the applied pressure remains a constant 1 atmospheres. The molar mass of ethanol is 46.1 grams per mole. Part A. What is the mass of 5 moles of ethanol? Part B. How much heat Q enters the ethanol? CP is 2428 joules per mole Kelvin. Part C. How much work W is done by the ethanol because of its thermal expansion? The density of ethanol is 810 kg per meter cube. Coefficient of linear expansion is 75 times 10 to minus 5 per Kelvin. And part C, what is the ratio W over Q? So let's start with part A. What is the mass of 5 moles of ethanol? The molar mass is 46.1 grams per mole so uh, we can calculate the mass of ethanol as five times the molar mass this will be equal to uh, m is 230.5 grams which is approximately 230 grams Okay, part B. Now, uh, the heat added, Q, is equal to MCP delta T because we are doing this at constant pressure and we're given the CP value. It's uh, 0 0.2305 kilograms multiplied with 2,428 uh, joules per mole kelvin and the temperature difference uh, we're going from uh, 10 degrees c to 60 degrees c so that the delta t in on the kelvin scale is the same as delta t in the celsius scale so it will be 60 minus 10 50 degrees celsius or 50 kelvin so this will be 50 kelvin so this will give us for q 2.80 times 10 to 4 joules. Now we're going to concentrate on the thermal expansion in part C. The change in volume delta V is the coefficient of volume expansion beta initial volume delta T. And uh, we know that the density of the ethanol is its mass m divided by its volume v0 so we can find the initial volume to be m divided by the density of ethanol the change in the volume delta v will be beta times m divided by density delta t and therefore the work done by ethanol will be p times delta v which is um, m beta p divided by rho delta t so this will be the work done by ethanol in the thermal expansion process if I plug in the numbers, the work done by ethanol is, so uh, the mass was 0 0.2305 kilograms. Uh, beta is uh, given 75 times 10 to minus 5 per Kelvin. So this is uh, 75 times 10 to minus 5. Uh, 1.013 10 to 5 pascals that's the pressure 
the change in temperature is 50 Kelvin and the density is 810 kilograms per meter cube. So we can calculate the work done by ethanol to be 1.08 joules. Okay, part D asks me to compare the work to the heat. The work done in the constant pressure process divided by the heat added in the constant pressure process will be M beta P divided by rho delta T times uh, 1 over M Cp delta T. Uh, the amps will uh, cancel and also delta T's will cancel. So uh, I will be left with the following ratio W divided by Q is equal to beta times pressure divided by rho times cp okay and now we can substitute the numbers here the work uh, divided by the heat added q will be um, beta 75 times 10 to minus 5 Pressure, 1 atmosphere, 1.013, 10 to 5 pascals, divided by density, 810 CP, 2428. This gives us for W over Q, W to Q ratio, 3.86 times 10 to a minus 5. Okay, so this is uh, showing us that the work done by thermal expansion is uh, very insignificant compared to the heat added to the system. Therefore, CP and CV values of ethanol are approximately the same because this additional uh, work in the constant pressure process is negligibly small. So to summarize, we talked about the difference between CP and CV of ethanol by considering the work done uh, by ethanol during thermal expansion um, and the heat added during the process at one atmosphere, we have 5 moles of ethanol heated from 10 to 60 degrees C with a 50 degrees C or 50 Kelvin temperature range. We're given the molar mass. The mass of the 5 moles of ethanol is 5 times the molar mass. The heat entering the ethanol is MCP delta T. The CP value is given 2428, which is the C value actually. Uh, multiplied by delta T gives us the heat at the 2.810 to 4 joules. The, for the work done in the thermal expansion process, delta V is beta V0 delta T. This is our law of thermal expansion. Uh, and the density is mass per volume. For volume, we substitute M over density, M over rho. And pressure times delta V is work done by ethanol. If it's unethanol, it would be minus P delta V. For the constant pressure process, isobaric process, we have M beta over rho delta T multiplied by P. We can substitute the numbers here to obtain 1.08 joules. If we take the W to Q ratio, uh, the M and delta T's will cancel. So we see beta times pressure divided by rho times uh, molar specific heat at constant pressure. And we obtain 3.86 10 to minus 5 as the ratio. Uh, which is unitless because it's joules by joules divided by joules. And it tells us that the work done during thermal expansion is very insignificant compared to the heat. So the conclusion is that CP is approximately equal to CV for ethanol.